Thank you so much for watching. This is the Entertainment for One podcast, and I am Anthony P. And subscribe to this channel. If you like this content right here, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you. Um, in this video right here, this one, I'm going to be pretty much breaking down to you why I feel that Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives, is the best film in the entire franchise. Friday the 13th Part 6 balanced that tone of being a, a horror film and kind of somewhat serious, but, but it took like a lighter comedic feel to it, but it didn't go overly comedic. One of the things that really makes this my favorite Friday movie was the fact of the killer soundtrack. We had Alice Cooper. A couple of his songs was featured heavily and predominantly, predominantly throughout the film. Teenage Frankenstein and The Man Behind the Mask. I also thought this film had the best version of Tommy Jarvis. You know, we saw Tommy, uh, we, we saw Corey Feldman play a younger version. And then there was an actor previously in Friday Five that played Tommy Jarvis, or more of a, a mental uh, Tommy Jarvis. But I thought that the actor, his name was uh, Thomas Matthews, uh, ironically. Thomas Matthews, I think he did an exceptional job as uh, Tommy Jarvis. He brought a more grounded appeal to, to Tommy Jarvis that wasn't so much mental, but he was more relatable, more down to earth, and I, I thought Thomas did a very good job. Um, and I thought it was also a pretty good, entertaining task, cast of teens, you know, that got killed off in the movie. The group of teens were very likable, especially Renee Jones, who plays one of the teens. She was a very popular actress in the 80s who was in soap operas and some films in the 1980s and 1990s. I thought she was absolutely gorgeous. So the fact that she was in the movie, you know, made me like the cast even more. And, uh, you know, how could you not like... The way uh, Jason was portrayed in this film, he was portrayed by C.J. Graham, and I thought C.J. Graham did a pretty okay, serviceable, serviceable job for the most part. Even though Kane Hodder, full disclosure here, Kane Hodder is my favorite Jason. Like when I think of Jason and the look of Jason and the walk, the feel, the actual like physical look of Jason, I always go to Kane Hodder as being the standard of, of who Jason is in my eyes. But CJ Graham, I thought he did a pretty, pretty good, pretty decent serviceable job, even though Jason wore these big ass yellow utility gloves <laughs> throughout the movie. I have no idea what that was about. And he had like a little harness belt on his, like a utility belt. He had like utility service gloves on, electrical utility service gloves, and a utility belt on throughout the whole movie. I don't know what the hell that look was about. But, you know, I, I did like the look of Jason in this movie. Uh, so and another thing I thought, you know, the movie has some real good kills, too. It really did. I thought when the sheriff got killed, that was a good scene. Uh, you know how, you know, Jason kind of like literally like bent the sheriff's sheriff's sheriff sheriff's body into to where he looked like a spider. I thought that was a good kill. They didn't really have too many kills in the movie, but the, the few kills that they did have and that they did. That, that they sh actually did show were pretty nice. I like the sheriff scene. Um, another scene with the couple in the uh, the the Volkswagen <laughs> in the beginning of the film. How Jason had that long. Why did Jason have a spear in this movie? <laughs> Like that's a, you know, Jason has some random shit going on in this movie. Like he had like the yellow utility gloves and he had a spear, which was like two totally ran and a utility belt. Just three random things that Jason had on and carried throughout the movie. Just totally random. But I mean, it was all right. But the uh, the couple that got killed in the vote back to what I was saying, the couple that got killed in the Volkswagen. Uh, you know, I thought that was a cool. I thought that was, a, you know, a pretty decent kill. But, you know, um, a lot of the kills, some of the kills were cut away. So I think overall, the best Friday the 13th film that had the best kills was Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood, The New Blood. But unfortunately, all of those scenes got literally chopped up and cut out. Overall, yeah, this is like my favorite movie. I like like the tone of it. I like the pacing of it. And it's just a fun film. Like I can literally put it on and watch it back to back. It's a fun film. The only thing that that kind of was like a drawback and that you could kind of say that this film really didn't have compared to previous Friday films 
was nudity. The nudity factor was definitely at a zero. It was not there like it should have been. But overall, overlooking all of that, I think it's I think it's an excellent film. I mean, don't get me wrong here. We're talking about this isn't Silence of the Lambs here. Which Friday film is your favorite film? Is it not the very first one with Pamela Voorhees? Or maybe is it, I don't know, the remake that came out in 2009, 2010? Or maybe you might like Jason Takes Manhattan. Believe it or not, I actually love that film, but I'm going to save that for another video. Thank you for watching. Hit that comment section up. It's the Entertainment Forum Podcast, and I will check y'all later. Peace. Thank you for watching.